Lisa Lampanelli is one of the most successful comedians in the country. I had a chance to speak to her about, among other things, avoiding the haters online and her dramatic recent weight loss. How famous do you consider yourself? If you were to describe to your mother or grandmother, they ask, how famous are you? What would you say and what do you think about that? I honestly say with no self-deprecation, mm -hmm. I am the world's richest nobody. Mm. I am not recognized on the street, possibly because of the weight loss and the Justin sure. Bieber hair, but I feel like somebody who doesn't really kind of have that recognizable face. Like you can but come yet, and go in New York, no yes, problem. Yes, but I can make lots of money doing comedy. Yep. And I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. I think that's phenomenal. I mean, I think a lot of times these days you have people who are very famous and broke because of the nature of the media, so I think that's kind of a decent setup. How useful has social media been in general for you? You know, it is really good. Uh -huh. It is really good, but I can't get obsessed with it and start reading what people it say can make about you cuckoo, me. Right? Oh my god, it'll make you insane. I know. So I decided I'm going to read what other celebrities write about me yeah. just so I could stay friendly with them, but I'd rather just put my jokes out there if you don't like me, that's okay, unfollow. Right. But it will drive you insane. How, how long did it take you to come to that sort of stance on the whole thing? A while. Three play painful <laughs> years. Right. And actually the day I stopped reading Twitter was the day I got my uh, gastric sleeve surgery. So you basically have a tiny stomach, you can eat about a cup and a half of food a day. Mm. It supposedly doesn't stretch out, but I'm not really buying that. So it's just really a weight loss tool because you could just gain your weight back as far as I'm concerned. So much of your comic identity, mm -hmm. your weight before, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, what was the thought process on should I do this? Were the people telling mm -hmm. you don't, you're going to screw up your brand or anything like right, that? How, right. how difficult a decision was that for you to make? Well, I only accounted for health when I decided to do it. So mm -hmm. I said, oh, comedy is an afterthought. But I feel skinny can also be funny because honestly, there's so much wrong with us in our everyday life, internal, external. We can make fun of other things than just that. Great talking to her. That's part one. We're going to do a part two tonight at 10 o'clock. Interesting, though, she definitely looks a lot different than people mm -hmm. remember. She lost more than 100 pounds with I the know, gastric bypass surgery. No, I know. It's been a struggle for her, but she says it's worthwhile. And uh, what she's promoting is she is doing a residency along with a lot of other female comics in Las Vegas starting a week from now at the Venetian. It's called the Lipstick Comedy Tour. It's her, Wendy Williams, really every famous. Female comedian is sort of circling through there, so it's kind of a cool thing, a unique thing.